So the, the title is Professor Thinks Grammarly Premium is the Bible. <laughs> this is great. Uh, I'm excited about this one. Um, so the, the post is, every time I watch a video posted by my professor or read through the comments made on my papers, my professor is preaching that we need to be using Grammarly Premium and following the APA sample paper our school has as an example. It's gotten to the point where it seems like she almost wants me to use the sample paper as a template, and I'm pretty sure she's grading my grammar based on what Grammarly Premium is saying rather than using her own comprehension. It's really frustrating for a number of reasons, one being that my papers are very strong and I don't need a program to tell me what's wrong with my papers when there's actually no grammar issue whatsoever. Um, okay. Uh, uh, and I'll come back to that. <laughs> is Grammarly Premium really as great as my professor is praising it to be? And have any of you ever had professors rely on it so hard? I feel like it's pretty unprofessional how much she's relying on it, especially since when she makes comments on my papers, all she says is use Grammarly Premium to avoid errors like this. Okay, well, to address that last part, um, that's not really helpful at all, getting a only comments back that say use Grammarly Premium to avoid errors like this. That sounds totally like a commercial and I think one of the um, other users pointed that out as well. That's so weird. Um, yeah, that's weird. Don't That doesn't feel good to me. And for people who don't know, Grammarly is a, um, a program that you can use. There's a free, pro, free um, plan and there's a premium plan. The free plan allows mostly like spell check and grammar check um, with some you know suggestions on how to phrase things a little quote unquote better um, based on I don't know what it's based on I guess it's based on what other people have written before and AI and machine learning stuff like that whatever um, but it is weird to have a professor base their grading on what Grammarly says that seems kind of backwards um, especially if it's a premium program that you're not being supplied automatically. So I, I would check to see whether or not your school is actually, um, paying for a large, uh, pres prescription subscription <laughs> to them, uh, to Grammarly. That might be the case where it's an expected tool to use. It seems weird though. Um, I will say, and I, I laughed a little and I, I don't mean this in a bad way. Um, what's crack -a it felt like the, it's really frustrating for a number of reasons. One being that my papers are very strong and I don't need a program to tell me what's wrong with my papers when there's actually no grammar issue whatsoever. That seems kind of like a little run on. And that's why I laughed a little bit. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not perfect at, at grammar. Um, although I am a, a, a writer <laughs> by profession now. So, um, but still, you know, and, and I think that kind of comes to the point I wanted to point out there was like, a lot of us think our grammar is perfect and you know i've worked <laughs> as a writer i've worked with editors and i think my writing is really great um especially if i have time to do my own editing and it is strong um, but it could always be better so you know i've seen comments on grammarly or, or people reviewing grammarly saying that you know Either it's like too strict, and I think that's kind of maybe what you're getting towards. Like it's too strict on a certain way of communicating things, and that can be that can be rough, especially if as a writer you're trying to convey different um, feelings. And I don't know what your field is here. It says APA um, sample paper, so. Um, but you know, if you're trying to convey convey a certain way of communication or, or thought or, or structure that is not being accepted by Grammarly, that can be very frustrating. And I understand that. Um, but I, I would say keep your mind open in general um, to taking some criticism on that front, because what if the professor, you know, this is a hypothetical, what if the professor genuinely had a um, insights onto what your writing structure was that would be helpful and make your paper stronger um would you come back to them and say um i have absolutely no grammar issue and i'm a strong writer and i don't need you to tell me what to do um just throwing it out there i'm not saying you're saying that but i, I a lot of us know <laughs> um 
and you're in psychology it says it right up there um but a lot of us know that um you know we are strong in an area and that can bring up some barriers to our um you know our value once we start getting criticism in that area so um i'm going to go ahead and do another top comment here um so this is kind of what i mentioned right it's weird for a professor to be pushing a paid service on their students um agree if there's something in your department is buying each student a subscription or i can see a professor telling you to take advantage of that um but that's not what it sounds like it's almost like she created or, or something so um yeah so you guys have kind of identified that and i think this was important grammarly may be helpful for some people but if you're in graduate school it, is almost is it is most likely a waste of money i also think it's inappropriate that she would make comments like use grammarly premium to avoid errors like this yes uh, agree 100 percent um when purdue owl exists and is reputable and free your university probably has a writing center or the errors grammarly flags might not actually be errors so yeah that that's important to point out too that you know grammarly points out um they do point out, or the program does point out errors, but it can also point out things that are, um, you know, a little more subjective, right? Especially if we're trying to convey certain thoughts and we're structuring our sentences a certain way, it can be like, okay, you're, you sound a little passive here. Really suggests, you know, switching um, those clauses around, and you'll, you know, be a little more direct. And that might not be what you want for your paper, so. Uh, totally agree with that statement. If there are no grammar issues, this commenter says in your paper, um, but she marks them as wrong, I would ask for feedback on what specifically is incorrect. Bingo. Um, if she can't tell you what is wrong without relying on a computer program, that would be concerning to me. Yes. Um, either way, I think it's highly inappropriate for her to continuously push a commercial product when there are reputable, free, and university-owned resources at your disposal. Yes. So um, overall, totally agree with this comment. I think it's right on the money. Um, there are other things to use in Grammarly, um, including real people. <laughs> so um you know, maybe that's inappropriate for an assignment if you're turning it in to have someone look over and, and, you know, you know, back in my day, back in our days, I think when we were younger in school, um, we would have to proofread each other's papers a bit, right? And, or you would ask your friend to proofread your paper. Um, and, you know, maybe that's not happening as much anymore, but man it feels it does feel weird it feels a little a little too preachy to hang on grammarly so much right um and i i'll say that i use it i because i write a lot but i you know i use it and there are definitely times where it helps my emails and professional communications a lot um it helps me with clarity um it helps a little less with my scientific writing as there are you know if I'm talking about certain genes and, and proteins and uh, processes and pathways and um, orders of thinking of steps of things, right? Like that gets complicated. So you kind of have to um, use a human eye and understanding, use your understanding of the uh, background of the project or information. I think that's, that's really key. So yeah, I think that's it. I, I hope you, you don't get too um, cornered into using Grammarly, but if you um, are, be sure to ask the, this professor what you think is wrong um, and how they would correct it or, or, you know, an example of how they would correct it a little better um, with or without Grammarly, because that is weird. Um, you shouldn't have to be settling just on one program, um, especially a, pro, a commercial paid program. That, that makes no sense to me. So 